information this noon on a Lake Winnebago tragedy. Winnebago County Coroner's Office telling us this morning that eight-year-old Derek Doro has now died after getting pulled from Lake Winnebago on Sunday. His dad, 40-year-old Andrew Doro, also died. This photo was taken from Andrew's Facebook page. Now, to the vehicle sank, authorities say, to the bottom of Lake Winnebago Sunday after falling through a crack. Rescuers eventually pulled both of them out, but they later died at the hospital. Now, late last week, fishing clubs and authorities said ice conditions were okay on Lake Winnebago, at least 12 inches thick in some places with few cracks, but they also warned conditions could change very quickly. Well, the ice is never 100% safe. There's areas that are safe that are marked. Um, obviously, the, the ice conditions this year are a little more inconsistent than years past, so um, there's, there's dangerous spots out there. People need to really uh, proceed with caution when they're going to be on the ice. Now, the father and son killed are from the Sussex area near Milwaukee. The Oshkosh Fire Department, by the way, has now issued an ice advisory. It says strong winds and warmer temperatures are making conditions iffy at best on Lake Winnebago. Tragic. It's a freak accident. A father son outing of ice fishing turning deadly on the uncertain ice of Lake Winnebago. It's just something we train for all the time, but it still kicks you in the gut when it is something like this. Rescue crews say while they train for something like this, they always hope for the best possible outcome. Good evening, everyone. The Winnebago County Sheriff's Department today identifying 40 year old Andrew Doro and his eight year old son Derek, both of Sussex as the two who died. Rescue crews arrived quickly to the lake, but they had to break the vehicle's windows underwater to get the victims out. A person on an ATV saw what happened and called for help, a Jeep breaking through the ice near Oshkosh yesterday morning. The fire department used rescue boats to reach that area, which is about three miles away from the shore. Divers went into the water and were able to pull out the man and the boy. A crack about 10 inches wide and three miles long opened up in the ice on Saturday night. Friends of Andrew Doro say fishing was a passion. Obviously, they were going ice fishing, and um, fishing was definitely a passion um, of Andy's, and, you know, was bringing that on to his son as well. So they spent a lot of time on Lake Winnebago. The father-son duo not only spent time on Lake Winnebago in the winter, they also enjoyed the area of their friends say during the summer months as well. Tonight, the father and son who died yesterday after their Jeep fell through the ice in Lake Winnebago have been identified as 40 year old Andrew Doro and 8 year old Derek Doro. The pair was from Sussex in Waukesha uh, County. Tonight's top story, Emily Matesic, speaks with first responders who pulled the victims from the water. It's continuously preached that ice is never 100% safe. And despite warnings here on shore about the crack that opened up about two miles out, those who rescued Derek and Andrew Doro say the two were doing everything right, staying on the marked line. But unfortunately, what happened to them was just a tragic accident. They were from out of the area, but they were in the exact spot where every local person would have been. It was just uh, horrible luck. Tony Montag and Mike Bryan are the two Oshkosh Fire Department divers who went into the water yesterday to try and save Andrew Doro and his son Derek. Once they kind of said there's a car, they never came out. I think Tony and myself were like, okay, we can do it. We're told the Jeep the Doros were driving in hit a crack that had opened up on the lake and their vehicle sunk almost immediately. Then the ice that was displaced as the lake swallowed the Doros' vehicle moved back into place leaving only about a three-foot hole for the rescuers. Driving up, you would have probably been in it before you would have seen it. But a witness did see what happened, and 50 minutes after the initial call came in, divers were entering the water and pulling the victims out. Derek Doro first, and then his father. Crews were hoping they'd gotten to the two in time. You've got 90 minutes to save somebody when they're down. And it had been less than 90 minutes. So the, the thing was, you're thinking, well, there's a chance. You know, so I, and that's... That's what you train for, to give them the opportunity. But as we learned this morning, both the father and son died. On a personal note, I can tell you that last Thursday, my photographer and I drove from Quinney across the lake here to Oshkosh, the same road that the Doros were on yesterday. It just proves how quickly ice conditions can change out here and that ice is never 100% safe. In Oshkosh, Emily Matesic, Action 2 News.